Activation energy in chemical kinetics. The rate at which chemical reactions proceed are highly temperature dependent. In this experiment, the oxidation of iodide ion is measured at various temperatures in order to determine its activation energy. This reaction is also carried out in the presence of a catalyst in order to determine its effect on the reaction rate. Record the concentrations of all the reagents. Obtain two clean and dry 250ml Erlenmeyer flasks. In flask 1, measure out 30ml of potassium iodide and 15ml of sodium thiosulfate. In flask 2, measure out 10 milliliters of ammonium peroxidisulfate and 20 milliliters of ammonium sulfate. Then add 2 to 3 drops of starch. These volumes are the same as those used in Run 9 in the Rate Law and Chemical Kinetics experiment. Immerse both flasks in a water bath until both are at the bath temperature. Measure and record the temperature of the solutions using a thermometer. Stir the solution with a glass stirring rod to ensure the solution is homogeneous. Never use a thermometer to stir a solution. <coughs> While keeping flask 1 in the water bath, quickly add the contents of flask 2 into flask 1. Start the timer as soon as the two solutions have come into contact with one another. Mix the solution with a glass stirring rod until a dark color appears. Stop the timer and record the time. Repeat this procedure for all the other water baths, including a run at room temperature. Be sure to record the temperature of the solutions for each run. Repeat the procedure for a run at room temperature, except that one to two drops of a catalyst must be added to flask one before mixing the contents of the two flasks. Starch is still needed in flask two. Record the temperature of the solutions and the time for the solution to turn to a dark color. Clean the glassware and put away the equipment.